Hidden in Android settings are a few features that you might not have come across if you weren't looking for them, but they can actually be pretty useful. Let's take a look at some of those. Now I will be using a Moto Z Play running Android 6.0 Marshmallow, so your mileage may vary depending on your version of Android and the manufacturer of your phone. First up is the System UI Tuner. If you swipe down from the notification tray, you can press and hold the gear icon to activate System UI Tuner. It will then appear in the Settings app at the very bottom. You can choose to have the battery percentage appear in the battery icon, toggle the various icons that appear in the status bar, and rearrange add or delete options from the quick settings menu. Number two is the developer options. Go into the settings app and scroll down to about phone. Then find the build number and just repeatedly tap on it. Eventually you'll unlock developer options. In the settings app it will appear towards the bottom but above the about phone section. Here you can adjust a ton of stuff. You can use USB debugging for tinkering with your device or simply get rid of or speed up window animations for a faster experience. Number three is the battery saver. In the settings app, navigate to battery and then tap on the three dot icon in the upper right. Here you can manually turn on battery saver or set it to turn on automatically. When you do, your navigation bar and status bar will turn orange for as long as it's on and it'll shut down background services to help you squeeze as much battery life out of your phone as you can. Number four is screen pinning. In the settings app under security, you can activate screen pinning. This allows you to open the recents menu using the square icon in your navigation bar and tap the pin icon to lock the screen to that one app. This feature is useful if you want to hand your phone off to someone, but don't want them leaving a specific app. Number five is encryption. Most Android devices nowadays have encryption on by default, but if yours doesn't, you should turn it on. This has no effect on your day-to-day -day usage, but it makes your phone a whole lot safer in case it gets lost or stolen. Number six is smart lock. In settings under security, you can enable smart lock, which allows your device to bypass your PIN or password if certain conditions are met. You can set your home location so that you don't have to unlock your phone at home, or you can even set a registered Bluetooth device so that as long as it's near that device, it can be unlocked. Number seven is the ability to set a data limit. In settings under data usage, you can toggle a data limit on or off, then adjust it using the two bars. The first bar is just a warning, but the second bar will shut off your data entirely if reached, which can save you from nasty overage charges. And finally, number eight is a hidden game. In settings, go to about phone and tap Android version repeatedly. When a large circle appears, tap and hold it. You'll then be inside a Flappy Birds inspired game based on Android Marshmallow. That's all the hidden Android features I have for you today. For more awesome Android tips, don't forget to check out makeuseof.com or check out some of the other videos here on the Make Use of YouTube channel.